All right, let's practice multiplication with specific numbers up to 12, okay? So it says here, multiply the following two numbers. Here, you're only going to deal with multiplication by zero. Okay, so we're multiplying by zero. Do you know what the rule is for zero? That means that any number times zero will always and forever equal zero, okay? 11 times zero equals zero. Let's try another one. Again, we're only dealing with zeros. So this time I have two times zero, okay? That's like saying I have two groups and I have nothing, I have zero in both groups. So how many total items do I have? Zero. Okay, how about zero times three? Okay, that's saying I have zero items. Zero. This is our, zero is our product. Okay, how about five times zero? That's saying I have five groups. And how many items are in each group? Zero. There's nothing. Nada. Zilch. So how many total items in the groups do I have? Zero. I still have zero. Five times zero equals zero. Okay. Oh boy. Zero times zero. Watch out. Don't get tricked with this one. Okay? Five times zero was zero. Three times zero was zero. Hmm, what do you think zero times zero also equals? It's zero. Okay, let's do another one. Four times zero, that's saying I have four groups and there's nothing in any of those groups. So how many total items do I have? zero. Okay, next one. Seven times zero. What is seven times zero? Is it one, two, three, or zero? Any number times zero equals zero. How about zero times one? Is it zero, three, one, or two? It's zero. How about six times zero? That means I have six groups and I have nothing to put in any of those groups. So how many total items do I have? Is it zero, three, one, or two? It's zero. And let's do one more. Zero times one is zero times one, three, one, zero, or two. It is zero. Excellent job multiplying by zero.